Hello everybody to the second uh, tutorial in the series. This is just, in the previous tutorial we did the basics of setting up a project. Now we're going to be talking about using DNSpy to decompile IL code. So the first thing obviously is you need to download DNSpy. You can do this by going into the description and going to this link. And then, yeah. Uh, if you have the .NET Framework installed, I'm pretty sure you uh, you have to install this one. You don't have to install either of these if you have the .NET Framework installed, which you should if you followed the previous tutorial on setting up a project. So yeah, in this tutorial, we're just going to go over looking at the source code of the game. So the first thing is, after installing the inspire, you're going to want to open it. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of stuff open in here already. Oh, I'm actually not. Okay, cool. Then you want to navigate to your Gangbeast directory. I just pinned it so I can get it easily. Oh, great. Uh, oh my word, I have a virus installed on my computer. Anyways. Then what you want to do is uh, go to the managed and you want to open up this assembly C sharp file. This is the source code of the game. And this is going to allow us to look in it. So if we go, where the hell is it? Um, here, this is what I was looking for, the assembly explorer. So. If you don't have it like I did, go to view and click on assembly explorer. I have a bunch of stuff open. I'm just going to close all of these and reopen this. And then it should add the dependencies for it. And now, uh, actually, this is kind of small. There you go. I can zoom in. Hopefully that's easier to see. So. On the left here are the actual DLLs or assemblies. And then to look inside what is in them, you just click on this like little what's a triangle thingy. And then it should open the DLL. And then you'll see a bunch of stuff. So this tutorial is not for beginners. This is gonna be more of an intermediate tutorial where you already understand basics of C sharp coding. This first like hyphen thing is the all the classes that aren't in a namespace so you can look through them then all of these are the different namespaces so for instance gb femur db core whatever all of these stuff uh now you can look through all of these looking through what you want or you can just click on the search button up here well, i don't think i can zoom in anymore for this anyways you click here and then you can search so um i'm gonna i know already because i've looked through the source code the actual beast script is called actor so let's go into actor uh when we search it's gonna pop up like a lot of random crap that is because you want to change the search for options over here like right now i'm searching for members which will be uh methods i can also search for numbers or strings for assemblies modules namespaces all of that stuff what i found most useful is searching for class so if i click on class over here these will just show me the classes and that filters out a lot of the stuff so let's cl click on the actor class and i can close this and then we can actually see the source code of it so then when we open it it will also uh, highlighted here on the left so we can click the down arrow then we get a nice overview of all the methods and all of the uh, properties and fields and events and stuff like that uh, so for instance I'm just looking on the left here as you can see there's a loft method and it, then when I click on it it will pop up over here isolated so we can see what the code actually does as you can see it calls the effects handler and then it sets the voice tag whatever that is i don't know and then 
it calls some method from the effects handler. And if we click on the effects handler, it will show us uh, where that is. So this is the field, and this is actually public, so we can actually access this. So now we click on effects handler. Okay, cool. Um, and now we can explore the effects handler. And if I go over here again, uh, we can see like bud bud. This will make I'm pretty sure the thing bud bud da di do whatever. Um, so yeah, we can just explore like that. That's one way. Another very oh also a uh, handy shortcut is you if you hit backspace it will take you to the previous thing. So that's just a quick way of navigating. Also up here you can also go forward and back. Uh, I don't know. Navigate forward, alt to right arrow. Yeah. Anyways, you can become like super good with using all the keybinds. I don't really need to know them. So yeah. Um, if you want to see, like, let's say I want to see where this method is used, this get random voice method, then I can right click on it and I can click on analyze. If I pop this up, I can see uses, I can see all of the methods that it uses, or I can click on this uh, triangle by use by. And then you can see it's used by all of these methods. And I can keep on doing this. I can go down and down. So for instance, this dress beast, I can click on that. Um, and then it will show me where it is used. I can also just zoom out a little bit. So yeah, then you can just go to the source code, see how it everything works. And bada bing, bada boom you can mod now and you can see the source code okay cool that's the main thing uh let me show you how to actually apply this i'll be right back okay sorry about that i just quickly set up a uh project off screen so that you don't have to go through that if you don't know how to do this uh check out the last video this should be all be part of a playlist so cool yeah um we're going to go into the main C sharp file and we're going to uh, call this laugh method from our actor. So I'm going to create on update. I'm just going to loop through all of the actors in the scene okay I have to say at the top you're using femur because the actor class is part of the femur uh, namespace as you can see here so for actor in find objects of type actor we're just gonna call actor dot log and this should make our beast laugh a lot. Okay, so as you can see it's saying the type network behavior is defined in an assembly that is not referenced. It gives us the name over here. What we can do is just click add reference, go to our manage folder, and here it is. Just look for the one in here. Cool. Uh, the error should go away now. There you go. Um, and now we can test build. Okay, cool. Now, if we load up Gang Beast, we should be. <coughs> Sorry about that. We should be hearing a bunch of laughs. So let's see. Oh, I think I have my audio turned off in game. So I might just have to, sorry if you can hear my computer fan going. Okay, it's all right now. Uh, yeah, you can see. Um, the beast is constantly back. So yeah. Um, I, okay, this is not too loud. There, I decreased it a bit, so hopefully it's not too ear rapey. Um, 
So yeah, anyways, that's the basics of using the ant buy. Uh, one last thing that I just want to go over is accessing private methods and fields. Uh, so for instance, let me try and find something that is private. So I was just looking around for stuff that I can test and I found two things. First of all, this draw beast thing which is a private field, and then this private method apply draw beast. So, let's see how we can change that. First of all, you need to say in the top here, using, uh, uh, using system dot, system dot reflection, and then, We can create like a, a method info thing. So let's see what this is called. This is apply draw beast. So I'm just gonna call this apply draw beast uh, uh, info. And then our field info is draw beast info. Okay, cool. And then on awake, no, on awake, we can set this using type of actor dot get method, and then we pass it the method name. So I'm just gonna copy this. Apply draw beast, and then we need to give it binding flags, which basically just tell it if it's static, if it's instance, if it requires an instance, if it's public, if it's private. So this is private and it's instance. So we say dot instance, and then we use this uh, operator here to combine them. Uh, instance and uh, non-public. Okay, cool. And then we can do the same for the draw beast info. We say type of actor. Obviously, this type of will be whatever class it's from or type that it's from. And then we say no get field instead. And this is called underscore draw beast. We go here. Um, and then binding flags the same, it should be instance, and I'm just going to copy this from here, and non-public. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, this instance. Okay, then, what we need to do is, over here again, we can loop through all of the actors in the scene. I don't know if this is going to even uh, do anything. We will see. So it's apply draw beast info dot invoke. Then we're just going to pass it our actor. And then it wants parameters and we can just pass it null because it doesn't take any parameters. Okay, and then for our draw beast info, we use dot set value. We give it our instance, and then we give it our value. So we want to set this to false. Okay, cool. Now we can just test build this. Okay, as we, yeah, as we can see, we're not drawing the beats; we're invisible. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's how you set private fields, how you call private methods, and how you use dnspy to decompile IR code. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, goodbye.